Hi everyone, this is uh, update number five and here I'm just going to show you how I uh, completed the V uh, shape of my the underneath of my pontoons to the uh, front bow so basically getting uh, coming to a zero point here to nothing and um, all I did is uh, measured the height that I start at this point here and then on the piece of wood marked where I wanted it to uh, finish so where my plywood here will come to the tip and uh, then just with a nail and a string on a piece of board you could actually make a circle so I would just keep extending the string so that when I would start from this point here with my pencil and would make a circle that it would reach and get to this point here so you just keep extending the string until you can make that arc basically uh, reach from this point to that point and that's what the uh, line that's how I determine that that circle basically and then uh, these small pieces here again is the small the same thing so there's the uh, structure there that uh, the uh, bow will have to uh, complete itself and on this side here so then I've cut my pieces of foam there to fit and as you see the little pieces of wood go in inwards there and that's all going to be cut off and sanded and there's my final pieces there and so all this will be basically trimmed off so I just roughly trim it off with my knife and then with the sanding block that I've made I do the uh, finishing so there's the other piece there as well and so that needs to be all glued and then cut down and what it'll look like uh, I'll come to the front here we were at the bow of the boat uh, or the stern of the boat there sorry and uh, here it is in the front and it's all the shape nicely there let me give you a shot on this side here so there you go you see it so we have our V and then we've got our shape coming down to basically nothing here and this surface here uh, is really nice and flat so that when I've got my plywood when I have the uh, plywood on it so all these will be covered with this plywood so this sheet here is there uh, uh, which will be actually glued on it's not glued on yet and it'll be glued on with that urethane foam and I've even made a small uh, angle here I don't know if you can see that and that angle is so that it connects on the surface here of this uh, reinforcement the edge here that I've put in so once that's glued into place um, then with the router I'll just make a nice little round edge maybe just even with a sanding block and then in the tip here I'm going to have the other side as well come here and then there'll be a little groove in there and I'll just fill that with epoxy just to bond the uh, two uh, pieces with the uh, to the center uh, beam uh, plywood that's there in the center and then after that this will all get uh, covered with the, the fiberglass so I'm getting really close to to that point and I guess the next shot will be once I've got these uh, covered with the plywood and then after that will be the uh, fiberglass so here I have my uh, plywood uh, shaped uh, this curve here for the bows and there's another small a slight curve here so when it curves over on top here so right now we, you're looking at the uh, front uh, bow and I've got the two pieces of plywood here lined up and uh, basically when the plywoods come together like this when they come on right to the nose uh, you see them merge together nicely there and I'll give you a shot from underneath I'll go down so there you see the uh, foam with the uh, plywood there and right there in the center and there's my two forms uh, shapes that I made so basically when it closes over there you go you've got a really nice uh, perfect uh, V shape here 
and going basically from the point of the boat and like I said this will be rounded off here and uh, pretty satisfied with that so and as you can see here I was showing that there's also an angle here on the uh, plywood that I've made and that's because of this angle here so that basically when the uh, plywood sits there it as we've got a large surface here that's going to stick on this wood here and uh, with my small air gun I'll give it a few shots as well to hold it in but it's basically the uh, urethane uh, spray foam uh, that I'm going to uh, put here on this edge that will uh, adhere it as well mostly and on uh, the surface here as well I'll put uh, some beads of that uh, foam so that's uh, what the uh, plywood covering will look like and I'll give you a shot of it uh, once it's all done so here's a shot of it uh, now uh, installed. I'm pretty happy with uh, with it it's, uh, resting on the edge there very nicely, and it's got the foam underneath it that's uh, adhering it. And uh, I've got most of the way done now, and towards the back, I'll give you a shot of the uh, section there that I'm gluing at the back. So here we have all this glued here and uh, I'm using my nailer with just 5 8 uh, long uh, little nails and you might see them uh, different locations here on the edge and here I have this sheet is already in and this sheet is what's going to go there and as you see that's my uh, foam uh, beads there that are already in position and uh, now I just gotta rest that on there and that's how this is put together so here we are uh, in the evening now, and the uh, both both sides are complete. Just thought I'd give you a view of it. Turns out pretty nice. I'm uh, very happy with this. So next step is uh, just making the uh, corners here uh, round, which I'll do with the uh, router. And uh, then it's pretty well ready to start uh, laying down the uh, fiberglass. So here I am doing the uh, rounding of the uh, edge here. And uh, that's not working out all that great because basically we've got we don't have a 90 degree angle this is a 19 degree angle and I had to build this wood plate piece here to uh, keep my router at 90, deg 90 degrees with this uh, little edge here so that the ball bearing can ride on the uh, on the piece of cedar strip there so I wasn't able to take out as much and make a round corner like I would have liked and I'll put this down here and then basically if I if I try to get the router down uh, further down to you know to make it rounder here at the top basically the uh, the bit is starting to eat into the uh, wood here so that's that's as far as I would want to go so I went around and and did the whole thing um, so what I'm going to do is use that as a guideline basically and just with a my big block sander just go over it and just you know make it a little cleaner and a little rounder and I think I can do a pretty good job so we've got the bulk of it off here and it started you know as much as I need it for now and uh, I think it'll work out pretty good with that. so that's about it for there and next step will be uh, just the uh, glass being laid.